join me as we cash stuff our second paycheck of November and our child tax credit. You've been living your good life. Hi guys, my name is Edith and in this channel, I will show you how my family and I utilize the cash envelope system to achieve our financial goals. Okay guys, so today we are going to be cash stuffing our second paycheck of November. I'm just going to give you a brief run through of how I budgeted this paycheck. I decided to switch it up a little bit and I just used a plain notebook. As you can see right over here so I got paid the amount of 1850 this includes our child tax credit of $500 also includes a giveaway prize that I won for $25 so the total amount I just realized I forgot the L on there is $2375 here is all of my bills equal 720 so I have a remaining of $1,655 these right here are cash envelopes my groceries week one week two today we only cashed up week one for the amount of 285 right over here I have all of my sinking funds along with this and a couple of savings Last two are our savings challenges. We are doing an emergency fund challenge and I started a new challenge called the fitness challenge. I will go ahead and go over that. Um, this minus this minus this and all of this equals a zero base budget. So today we will only be cash stuffing the amount of $2,090. Next week we will um, be cash stuffing $285 only for our cash expenses okay so let's go ahead and get started so nothing in gas groceries has a little bit of leftover i do like to carry some cash even though i use my credit card for most of my grocery expenses um but i do like to carry some cash with me just in case you know i need to run in real quick and get something i have it there um personal has nothing like always Kids Fun has $15. We were going to go to Starbucks the other day, but our Starbucks was closed, so they didn't use any of that. Eating Out has $5. That's going to go into Fun. And Daycare has nothing. So let's go ahead and stuff these really quick. Gas is getting... Hang on, guys. I'm looking at my cheat sheet. Gas is getting $2.20. And I had to um, up our gas budget because gas is crazy. So let's see. Oh no, sorry guys. Gas is only getting 120 for this first week. It's 220 in total for both weeks. But this week it's only getting 120. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 120. Let's make sure. Perfect. Gas there. Groceries is only getting 40, 20, 40. My personal is getting 60, no, 30. 30 for this first week. And I did that in a 20 and, hang on, two fives, yes. So 20, 25, 30. And my personal kids fund is getting 15. And those other 15 that they didn't use, I'm going to put them in their kids allowance envelope. Eating out is getting 30. And I did that in, let me find it on my, okay, I think I did two 20s and two two five sorry 120 and two fives right yes yeah, so 20 25 30 and eating out and whatever we don't use in eating now is going into our fun envelope okay that's that daycare is getting 60 and 20 
and daycare, I did um, three twenties, twenty, forty, sixty. These aren't the domin the denominations that I typically do because my bank didn't have enough fifties and enough tens for whatever reason. So I'm just making it work. So our wallet is fully stuffed for this first week. How are you guys doing on your challenges? We don't do too many challenges around here because we're trying to focus on paying off our debt um, as much as we can before we start a project. And I only have two challenges going on right now. And because of you know the reasons that I just mentioned, I don't think I can bring on any more challenges. It gets a little too overwhelming for me, so... You know, want to stick to really bulking up like our car maintenance, our health envelope, you know, the kids savings for sure. Um, so I think that once we start tackling my husband's car loan, um, we will be able to maybe, you know, focus or maybe bring on one or two more challenges. But for now, all we can do is two, so... That's that. Next on, we are going to do our bills binder right here. And guys, I already forgot where this money goes, but oh, I'll, I'll remember. Okay, credit card is getting 30, and that's 120 and two fives. Let's see what we have in here. And I think this should be fully funded for December's payment. So that is 20, 40, 50, 55, 60. Car loan gets 253. And that should be 2, 150, 1, 2, 3. And let's see again, this one also. I think all of these will be fully funded with this stuffing. For December. So um, 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 506 into car loan. Car insurance gets 169, and I did that in 50, 55, 60, 65, 6, 7. Eight, nine. Okay, so that was 169. And let's put these here. Nope. Did that wrong. Mm. Ah. Okay, there we go. Let's see how much we have in car insurance. 100, 200, 300, 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 338 for car insurance. Okay. Utilities gets $30. And wait. Okay, I skipped this one. Monthly subs gets $15, and that was all in fives. And this includes. Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Music. Guys, you guys got to recommend to me a show on Netflix because I can never find like a good show to watch on Netflix. I am a huge Grey's Anatomy fan. So I I just started re-watching like the whole series. And this is probably like my fifth or sixth time rewatching it it's just one of those shows where i'm hooked like if i'm cooking or something i'll just turn it on and i'll just listen to it take it with me into the room that i'm cleaning i'll set it up on something and then i'll just listen to it while i'm cleaning but i need to start watching a new show because it's just ridiculous like whatever so monthly subs has 10 15 20 25 30 i just need to <laughs> I need to watch something, something else. Utilities is getting 30 this paycheck. 
So that was a 20 and two fives. And let's see how much we have. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 115, 120. Health insurance is getting $16. So that should be 10, 5, 6. And this is for the kiddos health insurance. Health insurance should now have 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33 in their insurance envelope. Cell phone is getting 68. Stay there, envelope binder. And cell should be a 50, three fives. Right? Yep. Yeah. And three ones. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. I'm all over the place today. So cell phone now has 100, um, 50, 100, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Really? Okay, let's do that again. Cell phone now has 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 136 in cell phone. Annual is getting $30. And I promise I fixed this envelope, but I just have to make a new one. 20 and a 10. Yep. I cut it too short. I have extra of this paper, so I'll just make a new one whenever I have a second. Annual now has 100, 20, 40, 55, 56 in annual. 156. This includes um, Sam's, Costco, and AAA, which are all due in March. Internet now gets 30, 20, and 10. So let's see how much we have now in internet. And again, this is to get my service installed. So this is not my monthly payment. This is just to get it installed. So now internet has 50, 70, 90, 110, 120, 130, 135, plus 135 plus 120 that I have in the bank, 255. So we are almost there. Okay, trash disposal gets 10. And this is already fully funded for my next one, so I'm just going to take it easy and do 10 every paycheck. As 120, 130, 140, 145 in trash disposal. Okay. Guys, Dead Snowball is getting $69. And I'm doing $69 because I think after the 30 that I did here and the 69 here we will have paid off our last credit card. So $69, let's do that. Um, I need a 50. And so that should be 69. Let me make sure because I don't. So 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. And I should have 30 in here. Perfect. So all this, all this together, we'll finish paying off our last credit card. So 50, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99 in debt snowball. Okay, that's it for our bills binder. I think we're going to move on into our cash envelopes right over here. Back to school today. Let me see if I can use this to hold it. Yep, right there. Back to school today is getting 
Oh, where did I put it? $5. Is this open? Okay, there we go. Back to school is getting $5 and it only has a 20. So now it has $25. And this is for um, any... At first I was using it obviously to buy the kids uniforms, back backpacks, shoes, um, utensils, like anything that they needed for back to school. Um, now I'm using it to in case any like um, a new backpack, a new pair of shoes, um, back to school pictures is what I used it recently. Uh, my daughter's in cheer so she needed a couple of cheer items. Um, so yeah, I just used it for anything that's school related that they need. So back to school has 25 mine is getting the $25 from the giveaway and I'm actually going to go back to my wallet because I do this every time I remove this year that's in personal I'm only going to leave five dollars there and put the rest in this one because if I leave $30 in here I will spend it okay so I've learned that this works for me. So now my personal has a nice chunk. Yay! So excited. This, I've never been able to save, but with this method, I'm sorry guys, I'm such a mess today. So now I have 20, 40, 60, 80. 90, 95, 100, 2, 3, 4, 5. 205. Really? No, let's count that again. I'm telling you that $2 bill throws me off, but I refuse to get rid of it. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 206. Maybe I did count it right the first time. I don't know. 206 in my personal. 106 in my personal envelope. Help me, Jesus. Okay. Fun is getting $40. And that is two 20s. And this is for our eating out. If the kids want to go to the movies. Anything fun that we do as a family. So now fun has 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 35, 1, 35, and fun. Gas is getting nothing, but also this is why I want to get rid of this one because I usually swipe my card to get gas. I'm only going to leave 20 here in the rest, if I use my credit card, I will just pay it back. So I'm putting in here $100 from the 120 that I originally put in my there. Groceries, we're going to do the same thing because um, we got a pandemic EBT card for the kiddos. And I... I haven't been having to use this, but I do still want to keep bulking um, this up so that when I run out of funds in the uh, pandemic EBT card, I have something saved, okay? So 20, 40, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72 in groceries. And we're putting this $5 back in here. Okay. So now, Haircuts is getting $11. Um, it's empty because my daughter and my son needed a haircut. So now it has $11. Household is getting $50. We're going to do a $50 bill there. So household now has 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67. Kids allowance is getting 25. And I did that. Okay, a 20 and a 5. 
but it's also getting the $15. Okay, so $15 is there. So now they have, and I couldn't get enough ones. Typically I do the 20 in all ones because I give them a dollar each day for whatever they want to buy at school. But I'm going to have to make it work. So now they have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52 in here. Okay, 52 there. Gifts is getting... Um, okay, Gifts is getting 20. So 20, 31 in Gifts. Holidays is getting 15. I want to go um, shop around for like some Christmas decorations. So that was all fives. Let me just make sure. Um, all fives, yes. So Holidays now has 20, 25, 30, 35, 36. $36 in holidays. Work expenses is not getting anything. Meds is getting $20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Well, Med now has $21. Okay, no, 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 it's fine. Okay, um, pet food has is getting $20. So pet food now has 20, 40, 45, 46, 47. How are you guys doing on your Christmas shopping? Clothing and shoes is getting... I thought we were doing something. And clothing and shoes. Okay, no. Clothing and shoes is fine. So it has $20, but I don't foresee as needing anything. In the near future so we should be fine with that miscellaneous though is getting um forty dollars so let's do miscellaneous forty dollars and that was two twenties and i don't know why my bills are all folded okay so miscellaneous now has 20 40 50 55 56 57 58 59 and miscellaneous we use it as a buffer for everything every other envelope that doesn't get, um, doesn't have enough funds, or if I don't have an envelope for a specific expense, miscellaneous is where we take it out of. So that was that, guys. Next, we are going to do this guy right here. And this I call my big girl binder. Has some expenses that, let's see if I can stretch it, that you know, are not so fun, like car maintenance. Stuff that I don't like to say for, but we need to. So let's see, car maintenance is getting $50. So now car maintenance has 100, 20, 40, 60, 75, 76, 77. One at 77 in car maintenance. Our registration is getting $86 and I think next paycheck next paycheck we will be all completed with car registration and we can pay off the last of our car registration for the year car registration is $86 so we are doing 20 40 60 80 5 86 Okay, perfect. So now car registration, it has 150, 200, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 320, 5, 26, 326. 326 in car registration. That's great. Property taxes is another one that we need to pay beginning of December and that one is getting $83. I think we did the same thing. 
60, 70, 80, and the last three. Yes, perfect. So I'm going to put that there, there, and there. Okay, so now property taxes has 100, 200, 300, 400, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 500, 3. 503 in property taxes. Christmas is getting $20. And I've bought three or four more. Four more. Four more um, Christmas gifts. So slowly but surely, guys, I am getting close to finishing my Christmas shopping. Okay. And I've actually enjoyed Christmas shopping this year because it's the first year that I haven't had to, you know, scramble for money or use my credit card. I have it all saved right here. So I've actually enjoyed doing it this year, you know, without thinking uh, about, oh my God, I'm putting $100 in my credit card. How in God's name am I going to save that now? How am I going to pay that back? more than anything so again I'm really enjoying it and it's all thanks to this system so Christmas now has 200 300 20 40 45 46 47 48 3 48 and Christmas I'm just gonna keep stuffing this and then whatever I have left over will distribute between any other funds that might need a little help birthdays this is an exciting one because birthdays is getting three hundred dollars we're gonna finish stuffing this one today so that i can buy my daughter's um not Sperry farm tickets we're all going as a family we're gonna celebrate her birthday that way this year that's what she wanted so that's what she's getting. So birthdays now has 100, 200, 300, 4, 5, 50, 570, 590. Perfect. So um, if you haven't watched one of my videos before or the video where I showed you my little budget for her birthday trip, this is what it looks like. I needed a total of 590. I already had a 140 before I started before we decided this so I needed to distribute 450 within three paychecks which this is my last paycheck it's all there it includes the 300 was 150 from this paycheck and 155 uh, from the child tax credit so we needed 590 it includes our tickets our parking a full day of dining pass our gas money and a hundred dollars for extra spending so it's all there we are going to buy those tickets and we're going to be ready for that i think we're going um next week next week for um that should be really fun she loves roller coasters i love roller coasters so that'll be super fun i'm just as excited as her so last is my favorite binder of all my savings binder and this has more of my long-term savings for the kiddos, my husband, my mom, my dad. And it includes our two savings challenges, okay? So this one right here, she will be getting $80. And it's $80 because my paycheck and the child tax credit. So we're going to do four 20s. And again, if you're new here, this has a combination of prop money and real money because once i hit a hundred or a big amount in here i like to replace it with prop money and deposit that money into their high yield savings so that it keeps you know accumulating interest so that's why and um another thing is i don't like having all this money here at home so leilani now has 100 200 300 400 20 40 60 80 500, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So now Leilani has 511 in her savings. 
and my son should have the same amount. Let's make sure about that. So he's also getting 80. Okay, get it together, get it together, okay. So, okay, let's count his now. So he has 100, ah, two, three, four, 20, 40, 60, 85, 10, 11, 5, 11 as well. These are building up nicely. I love saving for them. Um, my husband is getting $5. Yes, $5. And he now has 20, 25, 30, 35. I think I'm going to use part, maybe this, and part of my Christmas for his Christmas present. Also for my mom and my dad, they are getting $5. I think I'm going to do the same thing. Just so I can get in something nicer. 50, 55, 60, 65. And mom and dad. House is getting nothing. Um, savings. This is our $10 savings challenge. And I have already colored the four that we need for this. Because we're doing 40. So each dollar is, or each dollar bill is $10. So... We're putting in 40 in there today. And I did that in all. I'm supposed to do these in all. All 10s, but I don't have enough. So I have 20. I have 10, 20, 30, 35, 40. So let's count to see how much we have now. In savings, I have 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300. 300 in our emergency fund savings challenge. We are getting there. Okay, guys, so next, I'm so excited to introduce to you a fitness challenge that I started. Um, I got this off of Etsy, so I will go ahead and leave the link to that Etsy shop in the description down below. Um, so what I did is I needed a little motivation with my working out, with my health. So what I did is I made every single one of these $5.00. So every sneaker is worth $5. So what I have been doing is I have been writing down what days I work out. Okay. Today is the 18th. And today I was able to get a workout in before I did this. So I have worked out a total of, let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 days. Right? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yes. So 14 um, times 5 is $70. So hopefully I have $70 here that I can stuff into this challenge. And hopefully I can keep going and finish off the month strong. And I think, so the tracker was, a, it came in a set of two different challenges. This one's, you know, for more for like working out, uh, physical activity. This one's more for eating habits. I think I'm going to start this one in December because December, girl, there's no stopping me. There is no stopping my eating. So I think this will help me stay accountable. So let's stuff $70. 60 65 dollars $70. $70. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I don't know if I'm going to spend it as soon as I'm done with the first month or if I'm just going to keep it going until, you know, I have enough saved. We shall see what we do with this, okay? Um, and like I mentioned, I don't know where these $15 go. I, I lost track. 
I should have put a little post-it there. So we're going to put this $1 bill into our $1 savings challenge. Now that has 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. 55 in our one dollar savings challenge and also with this one i don't know what i'm going to do with it and this guy here is just leftover money that i'm going to need for my second two my my week two um cash stuffing so we're gonna put that to the side and then these i don't remember but i'm gonna put this in fun i'm gonna put this in fun so now fun has Fun has 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 150 in fun. Okay, guys. Well, this concludes our stuffing for the second paycheck of November. Remember, if this is something that you enjoyed watching, don't forget to leave me a comment, give me a big thumbs up, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Also, don't forget, I have a giveaway going on now. It ends November 22nd. So go to my last video and follow the direction so that you can be entered into the giveaway. There will be two winners. Best of luck to everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you next time.